Good afternoon to you. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Right, my name is Prosper Tarovinga, and I'm the founder and CEO of Live Long Digital, your one stop um, digital marketing agency here in Melbourne. And I see Nicole has just tuned in. Thank you so much for tuning in. Chad, long time, my man. How have you been? I also see that uh, Jamie Hill just tuned in. Brock Bolden, everybody's in the house. Thank you so much. And Severs. Thank you so much for tuning in. Anna, how have you been? Hope your client meeting went well. Now, obviously, as you guys know, the next 30 minutes are going to be so explosive in as much as I'll be sharing with you how to actually um, start really getting clients that, um, you know, um, respect your work and to actually start generating new business opportunities. Now, if you've noticed, those of you that are following me, I have been posting a few very confronting questions. Um, one of them being, have you got what it takes? And the other one being, if you knew what I could coach you, um, you know, what, what would I coach you in? The reason why I'm actually going on like that, um, you know, just so that you know, is because a lot of us, are not taking full responsibility for our results. A lot of us are not taking full responsibility for our actions. And a lot of us are really getting complacent and while in the process are putting out mediocre content out there. Let me tell you something, guys. The world is not all sunshine and rainbows as we would like to imagine that it's, it, it, it is how it is. You got to have to put in the work. You got to have to show up for those people you're going to be demanding money money from and if you're not doing your best if you're not cut out to be the person that can provide your customers your clients your providers and your suppliers with the best version of yourself then I think you're playing with yourself all right so stop wasting time money and effort trying to do things that are not suited for you all right I always talk about this whole entrepreneurship being um, you know something that is not cut out for everybody else ask yourself this one question have you got what it takes you know because once you get in all right there's no turning back it's people's hopes it's people's dreams that you actually do carry and have to provide them with a service all right so at the end of the day um you know, you might have been sold the whole idea of being an entrepreneur, but maybe the day-to-day -day struggle, the day-to-day, -day, you know, reaching out to your customers, the day-to-day -day showing up, the day-to-day -day providing off value is not your thing. So maybe, why don't you outsource some of that work? And if you cannot, you may find some other people that you can maybe partner with that would actually show the respect, show that tenacity and give your customers the best service that they can have. All right. So I deal with about 34 clients that are full time with my agency. And I really, really appreciate every single one of them because every one of them is an opportunity to learn how to be a better business person, how to be a better dad, how to be a better leader and how to be a better person overall. OK, some people try to separate themselves from the business. Some people try to separate themselves from the outcome that they're giving their customers. But yet they are still perpetuating and saying that they are, you know, um, you know, uh, giving people results. OK, now, Jamie says you have to have trust with that partner. Jamie, there's 7 billion people in the world, all right? So don't get too romantic about one person. You can still find out that the, the, the person that you can work with, what you give out is what you get in return. If you're not a trustworthy person, how do you expect other people to be trustworthy, all right? So that goes on for your suppliers, that goes on for your pa private partners, your wives, your spouses, and everybody else. And that also goes on for your clients. If you're not pure at heart, if you're not a good, person that is going to be delivering on their promise why would you expect that off of other people all right so today we're just talking about really how to actually generate new business and have that consistent um you know people coming back i want you to answer this question right there if you can um do you think you actually have what it takes to run a business 
All right. Do you think you actually have what it takes to run a business? Can you type that um, in the comments below? Because, you know, owning your own business can bring a lot of extra pressure. It can bring a lot of extra and unwarranted stress. Are you cut out for that stress? Because if you are, you can continue watching this, uh, this video. If you're not, all right, maybe you might just want to find a nugget or two of what I'm going to be saying because I would never sit here for 30 minutes and tell you a new shiny um, strategy. I want to sort out the foundations for your business. I want you to earn more money with less struggle. All those people that are telling you the latest thing to do, the latest shiny object, all of those things will only work when the foundation has been set. All of those things will only work when your customers already know who you are. All of those things will only work when you have already got, you know, the trust. People already know who you are and they can call you and ring you for whatever it is that they need from you. Okay. So you would, you would have heard this statistic before. Um, Austin, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, hope you're having a fantastic day. Chris. How are you doing? I finished reading your book, by the way. Thank you so much. All right. Um, they say that 80% of business people would never do anything to help with their cash flow, get new customers. They'll never do anything to please their customers or to actually wow their customers. That's 80% of practically everybody else that you mean that yeah, that you meet that's a business person all right they never do their homework they never figure out what exactly is happening and why people actually want to work with them and what exactly is their service and how are they delivering it to other people they're just expecting that just because they've built a business people are just going to come all right how do you expect that to work all right and Normally when they, what they think is a business is just a pure website and a couple of, you know, pages on Facebook or on Instagram and they already think that's a business, all right? A business is the people that are in it. A business is the values that you tell people about. A business is the cash flow that is injected by people that are happy about that service. And Austin says, I thought 98% won't take action. Well, it's even bigger than that. And you're right. A lot of people won't take action. All right. So if you're amongst the, the, the small percentage, the 2% that actually listen to things and then put it into action, maybe this video is going to be the best video that you've watched, um, you know, in a very, very long time. Because today I'm really going to be giving out the guidelines that you can use to create a plan that will help you bring in more business so that you too can have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. Okay. So most of you guys have responded to the question when I was saying, have you got what it takes? The reason why I'm asking this is because if you don't have what it takes, most of the things that I'm going to be talking about, or most of the stuff that I'm going to be sharing are not what you're going to be expecting to hear. All right, because other people expect that, um, you know, whatever they have brought in or whatever they have been told by some guru is what is supposed to work. But that guru is not telling you about all the books that they're reading. That guru is not telling you about all the conferences that they're going to. That guru is not telling you that that method they're teaching you is a watered down version of something they heard from a conference and it's not that accurate. All right. So at the end of the day, it's one of those things that you really, really need to figure out where do you stand? Who do you want to serve and why should they care? It's your prerogative. It's your duty to actually make sure your star player, you, the business person has it, is ready and is willing to actually provide a service and be do and have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. Okay. Now, Jamie says some people can run a business. Um, what is he saying? Some people can run a business. Most people in the world are able to run a business. They are great workers, but have to be leaders, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay. So what you're literally trying to say there, Jamie, is everybody is sold. You know the whole business um, or the, the the whole entrepreneurial dream, but the hustle is actually sold separately. Okay, a lot of entrepreneurs that I work with recently, I'm gonna give you an example of this florist. 
if you are familiar with Melbourne, um, she rented out a shop in a shopping center here in Melbourne um, at Knox, okay? So she calls me up and she's like, hey, Prosper, I've been looking at your stuff. You're really good. And I'm like, cool, right. Stop wasting my time. Let's go. Let's get down to this. And she's like, okay, what I want is to start having people coming to my shop. I just opened this shop and I'm a florist and I really, and I've signed the lease. I'm excited. I've started a business. And then I looked at her list, I looked at her shop, and I looked at where it was. It was right at the corner where people um, don't even go to. First of all, there's puppies in front of her, and then she's a florist. Wrong positioning in a shopping center, because how can flowers, you know, go past the cuteness of puppies, all right? Have you ever seen those puppies in a shopping center? So positioning was wrong, and at the end of the day, she had already signed a list. So now we needed to bring people across to her, and when we made the calculations, we realized that she had to sell something, an average of $20 every 10 minutes in order for her to afford that list, all right? So is she the person who will be able to deliver on that promise? She didn't do her homework, and did she have what it takes? Every day she's calling me and crying, all right? Because she can't get out of the list. So sometimes you need to figure out, are you the right kind of person to take on this thing before you go on and sign lists, et cetera, et cetera? Because some entrepreneurs, you know, live with the hope that if they built it, customers are going to come. But in today's economy, we all know this, guys. Erica, how are you doing, my friend? Thank you. Thank you so much for tuning in. All right. We, we all know this. In today's economy, it takes a lot more for people to actually trust your stuff, purchase your products, or even watch your video for more than five minutes. People are too busy. People are too, um, you know, um, uh, what, what, what is it called? The attention span has gone way overboard, all right? So we may not just sit here and think that everybody already knows what our services are. We may not just sit here and think that everybody already knows what we're doing, etc., etc. Amber, thank you so much for tuning in, my love. All right, people are too busy. Right now, you might have ads that are going on in the newsfeed, all right? But... Is anybody watching them? No, they are here sitting and watching my video. All right, so we can't expect that people see our one status that we put once every week. We can't expect that people see our one, you know, strategy that we put out every second day. We gotta continuously be in the offense and make sure that people know us, they get to trust us, and they get to want to do business with us. All right, Deb, how's it going? I'm having, um, you know, a bit of a um, great time. The next book I'm reading is actually the one that you got me, De uh, Deb, uh, The Innovator's Dilemma. I can't wait to dig into that. All right. So this whole build it, they will come strategy is no longer working. It's no longer serving us. And it's now really, really, um, you know, putting people to, 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 you know, having heart attacks and stuff like that. All right. And Austin says, I learned that the attention span is 2% to 10%. Right now, I don't want to lie. You're probably watching this. You probably have three other screens that are going. The iPad is sitting on there and your, your, your kids or whoever really wants to your attention, etc., etc. At the end of the day, just make sure that you, you, you are providing value to people so that they continuously want to come back for more. That's why I keep asking the question. Are you cut out for this? Are you going to be there for your customers when they need you? Are you going to be there for when your customers are sitting on the toilet and they don't know what to do with themselves? Are you going to be there for when they're transiting to and from work? Are you putting out stuff that is going to be valuable for them so that they too can, you know, have a, bit, a, a life that's worth living, etc., etc.? Nicole, how are you doing, my love? Thank you so much for tuning in today. All right. See, I work with small business people so that I can help them illuminate their brand, all right, so that they can be a total difference. Customers are tired of one-click wonders, all right? Customers are tired of one-click wonders. Just because you are there today, it doesn't mean people are just going to continuously pay or be around your stuff. You know why? Because somebody else is also, you know, hooking up for their attention. 
So built it and they will come does not work anymore. You've got to continuously be there serving, providing, and making sure that you're making their lives worth living. All right? So, you know, sometimes we stunt our growth because we, we don't want to involve ourselves in our business. It's, it's long gone, the whole premise that whenever you create something, people are going to see it. Nobody sees your newsfeed anymore. The more no, the, 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 the bigger the, 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 the time that nobody interacts with your status or your comment, Facebook is just going to think that nobody wants to hear from you. And it's going to be hard for you to really, really get in, um, you know, in, in people's news feeds. All right. The reason why this happens a lot is because not a lot of us are focusing on one core product. Right now, I want you to type in the comments there, what is your main product? What is your core product? What are you known for? What do you sell? And who needs it? Can you type it in the comments in the, in below there? Austin, thank you so much for tuning in. While you're typing in, I really want to, um, you know, figure out what, what, what is it that you think is your main core product. All right? I basically... Really, really, my message is to help digital entrepreneurs to start, scale, and grow a business that is also, um, you know, and, it, and it's also aimed at helping them have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. That's why every single day I show up. You know why? Because everybody is so you know, bloated with information. I want to be that person that decodes that information for them to understand it. Now, what is your core product? What do you sell? Have you ever been around and started talking to somebody else um, and, 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 and what they tell you is, oh, I'm, I'm a, I do cryptocurrency, I do MLM, I do, uh, you know, I'm a coach, I'm a consultant, I'm a teacher, I'm a brother, I'm a whatever. It, it gets so confusing, all right? You see, the one thing that you really, really need to know is prospects and, you know, customers, they buy when they actually trust you and that the value is applicable for them to know that your business is stable. All right? People buy from people that are stable. That's why you, 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 you know, when somebody says, I'm an award-winning person, I've been featured in the media, it, it raises your eyebrows because you know what? That's different. All right, what are, what are you known for? You gotta be known for the one thing because people's attention span has gone berserk. If you're all over the place, nobody's gonna know what to call you for. All right, prospects buy when they actually trust that the value is applicable to them and they believe that your company is stable. If six weeks ago you were selling this product, now four weeks, um, in you're selling something else and then you're not consistent people will not know how to place you where to place you because as humans is as much as we want to 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 differentiate ourselves or whatever we understand things that are put in categories or in boxes that's why we've got names for things all right that's why there's black people and there's white people we might want to differentiate it and whatever it is but that's how we see it that's how we differentiate people there's dogs, there's cats, there's policemen, there's army. We put people in a box so that we can interpret what they are and who they are. And the more we know what they do, the more we know where to place them in our, you know, in, in, in the hierarchy of things. All right. I've heard that Eskimos, they actually have 12 words to describe what ice is. All right. I'm not talking about ice, the pathetic one that's killing people. I'm talking about ice, the weather phenomenon, the the snow. They have 12 words to describe what it is. There's the there's the good ice for building igloos. There's the good ice to skate on. There's the good ice to eat. There's the good ice to 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 warm them up. Even you know what I mean. So that's how humans have adapted and know what it is that, you know, they, 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 they're supposed to do. And that's how communication happens. People need to know what you do. So if you're peddling this and that in your general store today, grand opening, grand closing. All right. People are too busy to worry about you to get your shit together. All right. Prospects buy from those that they trust and they... And, and who they value 
um, you know, if, 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 if that value is going to be applicable to them thinking that your company is going to be stable. What I do every single day is work with people's hopes and dreams. All right. Can you imagine your your blood, sweat and sweat equity? You you give it to me in terms of business and then I just don't show up. Right. It's people's hopes. It's people's dreams that you're dealing with every single day. OK, so if people don't know what pigeonhole to slot you in, it's going to be difficult for them to do business with you. Bobby Baskaran, thank you so much for tuning in. All right. Prospects buy when they trust that your value is actually applicable to them. And then they believe that your company is stable enough for them to do business with you. It's people's money we're talking about. So don't just expect to show up and think that you can just put up a status and people will just throw themselves off, off, off you know, on, 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 on yourself. All right. This very strong position that I'm, I'm sitting on or I'm talking about, it actually allows you to constantly check on your services. Are you providing the right kind of service to the right kind of people that really want your stuff? Cindy Freeman, how are you doing, my love? Thanks for tuning in. All right. I want you to keep this statement in mind. All right. Prospects buy from those that they actually trust and that your service is applicable to them and they actually believe that your company is stable to see through, you know, through, through thick and thin. All right. So you, you got to start initializing that solid statement because at the end of the day, it's very, very common for small business people like you and me to, to actually feel like, um, you know, you, you can, you can, you must do everything that the big guys are doing. At the end of the day, you're going to run sh sh slow or you're going to run short. You know why? You don't have the resources. You don't have the manpower and you don't have the bandwidth that they have to pull in, um, you know, big things. All right. So what you really, really got to do is you you really got to figure out your niche. You got to figure out your own corner that you're actually providing really good results for. And then people would know that they can, um, you know, come back to you because you're stable and you've established yourself in that little nook of your, your, your industry. All right. So it's very, very essential for you to differentiate yourself by focusing on your unique capabilities. All right. Your core product. OK, this is what will bring prospects to you. Specialization is your greatest asset. Don't try and be everything to everyone because nobody cares. Nobody cares at all. You're just going to be trading water and then people are just going to forget you. You know why? One hit wonder. You're going to be a one click wonder. All right. And once you've figured out what it is that you're doing, keep that pitch simple. Everybody knows that I'm out here to make everybody's business profitable and enjoyable. Who doesn't understand what profit is? Who doesn't understand what enjoying working in your business is? It's that simple. What does Prosper do? He will help you have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. I'm hoping that's what you understand. All right. But I want you to ask you something. When was the last time you were probably at a, at a party and, and, you know, you were among some friends, you know, enjoying a couple of drinks and then somebody asks you or you ask um, the person across to you, what is it that you do? You know, and then, and then the response comes, oh yeah, I do this or I'm this or don't you just probably just have your eyes glazing over, you know, because you don't understand what it is that they actually do. Yeah. A lot of business people are out there peddling things that they don't understand themselves. Have clarity in, 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 the, in, the, in the sense that who are you, what do you do, and who cares? And once you've got that shit together, trust me, you will be, you will be head and shoulders above all the other people that are just trying to do everything else and nobody even understands what they're doing. All right? So, you know... You know, you imagine that friend of ours who was trying to tell you what they do at a party. Now, can you imagine that very same pitch being presented to prospects without a glass of wine in their hand to distract them? You know, when you're at a party and somebody tries to tell you what you do, you know, you just get distracted by a drink. Oh, let me go get another drink. But if you're trying to tell prospects what you do and then they don't understand you, it's not a pretty picture. 
All right, you have to understand at the core what is it that you do and who cares about it and 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 and, and how do you provide that service. And the underlining method of all of knowing this is to show your or ask yourself do you actually have what it takes to be that person that you say you are all right that's how that's why a lot of people can't pull through this whole business thing because they don't have what it takes they don't know what they're actually doing and when the when 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 the when when the truth comes they can't face that because some people will, will find themselves getting frustrated because they're acting as somebody who they're not. Do you know how, um, you know, there's sitcoms like Seinfeld or Fresh Prince of Ballet, etc., etc. Have you ever noticed that the people that were acting another part would normally check into rehab and the people that were acting their own character like Seinfeld <clears throat> or Fresh Prince of Ballet, they're still sane. How many sort of people that were in, 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 you know, in the 90s sitcoms have maybe gained weight or checked into some rehab or become alcoholics? It's because they were acting a character that they were not. And when the sitcom ended, they had to match up with the real person who they were supposed to be. And that, that disconnect will cause a lot of problems. So if you're not sure who you are, what you serve and why the people should care about you, people will see that disconnect. And before you know it, you'll check into rehab because, you know, you're, you're not clear in your head as to what are you actually serving and who needs to be listening to you. That's where frustration and stress comes in. All right. So you just really need to have a simple elevator pitch, a very short and, and concise message that actually con communicates what it is that you do for who and why they should care. All right. That way you, you explain your value, the value of your product, the value of your service and what it provides to to, you know, to your prospects and, and, you know, understand if it's actually applicable for them. Deb says prospects want to deal with authentic humans. Oh, exactly. Nobody. Everybody is tired of one click wonders and people that are, you know, not 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 really going to be there tomorrow. Have you ever seen those, um, you know, I, I, find, I, I, find, I find them weak, those people that are saying, oh, small business owners, if Beyonce comes up with the perfume or if uh, Shakira comes up with the perfume, everybody buys it. But if Sally from next door comes up with something, um, you know, nobody buys it. It's because Sally has never been there. Sally is only just trying to show up just because it's Christmas now. All right, you've got to be there. That's the reason why I led with the question, have you got what it takes? All right, because you're dealing with people's future. You're dealing with people's emotions. You're dealing with people's, um, you know, money. You're dealing with people's uh, goals, aspirations, whatever it is that your service is providing. Have you got what it takes to lead them through this year, the next year, etc., etc.? Do you know what it is that you're collecting money for? All right. Now, Sonia says, yes, even though you don't know, it's best to say, I don't know. I will research for you. Great stuff. You can't lead in with something that you actually don't know. All right. So basically, we, we were talking about how to generate new business opportunities. And if you really listen to what I was saying, it really just boils down to you knowing who you are, what you sell and who needs it. All right. And if you've got what it takes to do it over and over and over again, and if you really know what your core product really is, and you're just focusing on that, all right? And if you just stay true to who you are, like what everybody else is saying, knowing who you are gets you very excited about what you're doing, guys. Do you know what I mean? If you know what 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 turns you on if you know what ticks you off it will actually help you reach your goals because then you know what not to do what not to stress you and to align with the people that are also going that same direction nothing guys i don't want to lie like what everybody else is saying yes jamie that is a very good point you know nothing will derail a growth plan than discomfort and you start procrastinating because you are not aligned with what you're doing and people can tell, you know, so stay true to, uh, stay true to who you are and actually do your best.
And you can hand over tasks that annoy you or things that you're not good at. And you can actually ask people. And then you can actually stretch and grow with the alignment of your own interests and abilities and your expertise. That way, you're no longer going to be coming out as a phony or you, you, you will start having the imposter syndrome. All right. Sonia says, yes, we like to help people, but we don't know everything. And this is a learning curve. Keep learning to help others. Oh, that's absolutely fantastic. We are here on earth to live and to learn. And once we've lived and we've learned, we need to contribute. And the more you contribute, the more you are fulfilled. All right. And the more you're fulfilled, the more energy you have to serve, serve, serve. And that's actually making you an absolute human. Okay, so at the end of the day, when you actually know what you serve, who you serve and why they need it, it makes you come out authentic. It makes you love every person that you're dealing with and it, it stops becoming a job. That, my friend, you're not going to need any other trick or shiny object or whatever it is. You're just going to need your star player to be in tune with what you're doing and you will actually start getting a whole lot more clients. Wouldn't that be nice? And isn't that very, very easy, guys? Okay, so what we're doing is chasing waterfalls and, and trying to find stuff while we are not really in tune with who we're supposed to be. Tinamari, thank you so much for tuning in. Guys, I really got to go, but I know that every one of you guys is out there, is doing what they love best, and is actually representing themselves in the best way. I really appreciate you guys for tuning in every single day. You know why? Without you, I wouldn't be there. Without you, I wouldn't have this energy. And I want that you have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. I want you to earn a lot more money. And I want that you also go out there and contribute your talents. Because I know you've got a lot to give out there. All right. All right. I really, really got to go. But I know that you guys um, um, are going to be... You know, you, you guys are going to go out there and really, really do what, what makes you happy. Thank you so much for tuning in today. And let's continue this conversation in the bottom there. All right. Thank you so much.